Hey guys, Samuel here. Today I'm going to be answering some of your questions that you've asked on my previous videos. I just think it's a good learning opportunity to just go through some of those awesome questions that people have been asking me. Uh, just take that opportunity in this video to answer some of them as some of you are new to my channel and I think you know the previous questions that have been asked are quite useful to know some of the answers to especially for those players that are new to the game or new to Hunter. Uh, there's a lot of good information and a lot of good questions that people have been asking around that. So first off, um, I've got one from Michael Mueller. Hello, what is the circle on the cursor? Is this an add-on? So um, you can see in the middle of my screen there's like a circle sort of icon instead of a mouse icon and that one is a weak aura. So I just got it from the Wago IO site and I'll put in the description a link to that one. So the next one I've got is what is the, uh, the enemy tracking cooldowns in the middle? So you can see in the middle there I'm tracking some cooldowns of the enemy and then also to the side I've got some, uh, some of them just floating off to the side there. That's the uh, my spells that I'm casting and then the enemy spells that they're casting in real time and that one's Trophy GCD and the one in the middle is Omnibar. So next one Tom, uh, what about the kill the pod alert? So some of you may have noticed when um, a Night Fae dies that has that specific covenant ability a kill the pod and a little noise comes up on my screen that is also a weak aura as well I'll put the link in the description to get that one too what legendary do you use? so I use the surging shots legendary I um, think that Craven is the meta for hunter but I just like using the surging shots one I enjoy a bursty game so that's just my personal preference um, what threat plates uh, sorry, what name plates do you use? And that is the threat plates add-on. Um, basically, I use this one just because there's a lot of customization. I also have a video going in how to set up threat plates to be the same as mine as well, if you're interested. Um, so I guess this is a, a, a rather large comment that I got and I've put a proper reply to it, but um, I guess the main one to help people out is about the pet so a lot of you ask me you know I'm a marksman hunter why am I running a pet and I suppose the the big answer to that one is the mortal wounds ability so 25% reduced healing on the enemy um, that's going to be more than having an additional 10% damage especially against those healing teams and then the other reason is also you've got on a 45 second cooldown master's call and that one gives four seconds immunity to movement and pairing effects. You also get an 8% increased movement speed buff permanently when you have that pet out as well. And um, just the, the key binds that I use for my pet is just to attack and then to follow me. So really it's just two additional key binds that you need to, to add on as well if you're gonna run with a pet. But you can also use um, a raptor or a hyena, they're the, the cunning pets with mortal wounds as well. So it's just personal preference that I've chosen to do a rodent, but um, yeah, whatever you, whatever skins that you like of the hunter pets. What add-on is your damage text? So that one is nameplate to scrolling combat text. What keybinds do you use for targeting enemy players? Also do you use an MM, MMO mouse? Uh, so I use arena targeting keybinds and I do have a Naga mouse, so the one with the 12 buttons on the side and the keybinds I use for targeting is um, so I target arena 1, arena 2 and arena 3 and I'm using to, to target I go shift 12, shift 11 and shift 10 sort of cycling down and then to set focus targets I do control 12, 11 and 10. What is the announcer add-on? So that one's Gladiator Lossa 2 and that was a previous recommendation from one of my viewers and ever since I found it just super useful just for learning all the different spells of other classes and then 
increasing my awareness as well. So the bow name, once for the transmog. So it's the golden bow of Quel'Thalas, and I got that from Samuel Plateau. Does mortal wounds stack with wound poison from my rogue? So they don't stack with each other. It will apply the more powerful mortal wounds, which is from the hunter pet. Um, it's only slightly stronger than the rogue poison though, so um, just keep that in mind. And what pet do I have? So yeah, it's a rodent, and as I said previously, you can also run with the raptor hyena or um, yeah, rodent like I am to get that cunning pet with the mortal wounds. Uh, how to be more effective landing freezing traps. So I, I can give a couple of tips on this one that I've learned just over time from watching really good players play, but then also just personal experience of practicing how to land my traps. So I set up a focus macro to concussive shot my CC target. So I do that just to, you know, a slower target is easier to land a trap on. So that's one thing I, I do sometimes. The other thing that I sometimes do is coordinate to trap on top of a stun that my partner has just done. And then finally, um, once you start getting a little bit better and you're feeling more comfortable playing Hunter, you can disengage into your CC target, closing the gap, meaning that the travel time for your trap is just a whole lot less. Uh, how do I make my UI look like this? Um, so I use Bartender to customize my bars in the middle of the screen and I unlock the unit frames and focus frames and um, yeah, so I drag those from the top left, which is where they are by default and then I bring that down to where you can see. Um, so I've got obviously my player frame there in the, the bottom leftish area and then I've got my target on the right and then my focus target below. Uh, mine as well. Um, so the other add-on I use is also Quartz for the cast bars and then Gladius to track the diminishing returns and I also enable um, unit frames in the Blizzard interface like the raid profile for frames and that just allows me to you see where Culpa and Relictus are uh, pretty much just is a bit easier for me to see the health bars, so I do that as well. Uh, from Mike, so I'd love to be able to copy your macros. Um, so yeah, for anyone who wants to see some of my macros, I did do a video on this as well, um, but I will just leave some of my main macros in the description as well for anyone who's interested in that also. And then one from Casey, do you coach? So I don't coach personally, but I try to help out guildies and friends when they ask me questions or ask for advice. Um, but I also just kind of find like that this YouTube channel is sort of a good opportunity for me to help other people who are, you know, new to the hunter class or just new to the, the game in general. And um, yeah, I definitely find a lot of satisfaction hearing from people when they've been able to reach a certain arena rating that they haven't been able to get to. Um, and then also, you know, the feedback on my videos that they've, they've been helpful as well as, as just being able to engage in the community with you guys has been, um, yeah, no, really great. And I do enjoy definitely making these videos um, for you guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. Um, if you did like it, remember to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more of my videos, subscribe. I'm thinking of doing a part two of this sort of question time. Um, so ask me questions, anything you want to know, I'm, um, I'm going to be trying to put together another video, uh, obviously with different questions to what I've been asked um, in this video and then Hopefully I can help more people, help you guys reach the certain ratings that you want to reach. And I will catch you guys in the next video. See ya.